Are you tired of your game looking like this? Or this? Or even this? Well, you want your game to go from that to this? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a world or a scene. And the best way to do that is by making a 3D tile set. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll be quickly showing you. And if you know how to do that, just fast forward this part. I made the chapters in the description down below, so use that. So, to start off, you basically select the 2D object tile map rectangular and make sure you have the 2D tile set package downloaded. Now, that is very important because otherwise, you will not have these components. Now, go to grid and go to cell swizzle and change it to X, Z, and Y. And now you can add your object and paint. So now that I made the quick scene, I'll show you two ways of adding post-processing to your game. And you can choose which one you should use. Uh, the difference between the Universal RP and the post-processing is, is that Universal RP is pretty lightweight. So it can actually uh, go onto mobile phones and you can create a lot uh, more optimized content with it. So if you really want to go to the PC version, you should actually go to post-processing because there's a lot more options there and there's a lot more editing. So you, you actually choose, uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you both. So you choose for yourself. I like the Universal RP because it's extremely simple. You can use it and it looks pretty. So I usually use Universal RP or URP. The first one is Universal RP. I like this method more, so the first thing you need to do is go to Window, Package Manager, click this and click Unity Registry. After that, search for Universal and this will pop up. Click Install and wait a minute or so and after it's finished installing, go to your project window, right click, go Create and then Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline and then select Pipeline Asset. After that, go to Edit, Project Settings, Graphics and click on this little dot here and select your Universal Pipeline you just created. And if you're doing this to an already existing scene, everything should turn purple. But there's nothing to worry about, don't freak out, everything is gonna be fine in just a minute. Just, just go to Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline and click Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Material. Now wait a couple of seconds and ta-da! You should now see way more vibrant colors and it's already looking better. But what if you want to add more effects to your already pretty Universal RP? Now that's actually pretty simple with Universal RP. Now go to the main camera, go to Add Component and search for a volume. It should pop up as a script. Now click on the script and click on this new button to create a new profile and voila! You just import and post processing on URP. If you want to add overrides, you can actually choose the post processing effects which are available. Now, I'm not going to go over on what each effect does. I think you probably know. I'll just leave you to play with that. You know, you choose what effect you want to put. You can control Z to undo the effect and you can see what looks the best for your game. I'm quickly going to make my scene look pretty and I'm going to show you the results. And here it is. This is my finished URP scene, but I'm also going to show you what the regular post-processing looks like, so you can compare the two. But to show you how to add post-processing, you just have to go to Window, Package Manager and search for post-processing and install it. After that, in your hierarchy, add an empty game object and call it post-processing volume. Go to Add Component and add a Post Process Volume. And make sure this, this Is Global box is ticked. And click the New button. That creates the Post Processing Profile, similar to what we've done with URP. Now go to this Layer button here and click Add Layer and call it Post Processing. And add the game object and add and on the game object post processing volume you add that post processing layer. Now go to your main camera, go to component and add a post process layer this time. Find your post processing layer you just created in this layer tab. And now if you go back to your game object post processing volume, you can actually go to add effect and choose the effect you want to put in your game. You can again play with these effects and their values. 
especially the color coding. There's a lot of options here, so you can choose whatever you want and edit the game however you want. You can actually change it. So you can put uh, in a script, if something happens, you know, you can change maybe the color or the bloom or anything that you want. And I'm not gonna be showing that in this video. Now I'm gonna add ambient occlusion, some color grading, and that's pretty much it. And now I'm gonna show you the comparison of all three styles of post-processing. Thank you so, so much for watching and it will help me a lot if you subscribed. It takes a second and it helps me so, so much. If this video helped you, please subscribe and also make sure to check out all my other videos. So yeah, okay, bye. Hope I helped you in some way, shape or form.